Welcome guys, welcome to my channel Marine Sea Time. Today I will be discussing about the line diagram and explanation of high temperature cooling fresh water system on ships. So before reading this, watch my previous video about uh, about low temperature system and sea water service system on ships. So the main engine doing running produces lots of heat. This heat is transferred to the jacket water. My in my ship my uh, in my ship jacket water was used to cool cylinder liner, bore cooling for cylinder cover, exhaust valve, and in some engine fuel injector and turbocharger. But nowadays the turbocharger and fuel injector are designed in such a way that there is no need for coolant. So a lot of heat is produced in the main engine and this uh, lots of heat will be taken by the jacket water uh, which is given into the main engine. So before going let's see the line diagram for HT. So you can see in this diagram there are many parts. So this is the fresh water generator FWG, this is the preheater expansion tank, this is the main engine jacket water, okay, now this is the pump, main engine jacket water cooling water pump, jacket water cooling pump, now this is the high temperature jacket cooling water, jacket cooling water cooler, this is the deep heater tank, so here we are we have fresh water generator jacket water preheater expansion tank this is the main engine this is the jacket cooling water pump this is the jacket cooling water cooler so in the previous diagram uh, in the previous i have told you that the sea water cools the lt water and the lt water cools the cools the jacket water so we have lt water inlet and lt water outlet over here so in the jacket cooling water jacket fresh water cooler we have lt water in and lt water out okay now we'll i will tell you about one by one about all the parts how it how it looks like so this is the main engine from here the heated jacket water so this is the jacket water inlet to the main engine and this is the jacket water outlet from the main engine so the outlet temperature is almost 82 degrees celsius 82 to 80 80 degrees celsius the jacket water outlet temperature is 82 to 80 degrees celsius so now this will 80 to 80 degrees celsius will now pass through this so you can see over here this is the suppose uh, this is the jacket water preheater pump suppose suppose we are in a port and main engine is in preheat so jacket water will go over here and after preheating the jacket water will go over uh, from here if suppose we are uh, we are not uh, in the sailing period the jacket water will directly go into the fresh water generator okay so during sailing the jacket water goes into the fresh water generator and during port uh, during port or during the main engine preheating the jacket water goes over here for preheating now suppose if the fresh water generator is not operating so the directly the after from the main engine 80 to 80 degrees celsius the water will directly bypass the fresh water generator and also the preheater for the main engine so this three condition will prevail either it will go here or it will go to fresh water generator or it will directly go into the uh, jacket water cooler okay so from the main engine the jacket water temperature is approximately 80 to 82 degrees celsius so we have to cool this 80 to 82 degrees celsius so that we can uh, give it to the engine for cooling the main engine parts so for cooling it we either pass the jacket we, we pass the jacket water into the fresh water generator and we utilize the energy so this increases the efficiency of the main engine so we are passing this to the fresh water generator from the fresh water generator Jacket water temperature is approximately 82 to 82 degrees Celsius and outlet temperature is 78 degrees Celsius. So after cooling in the fresh water generator, the jacket water is passed to the main engine jacket water cooler. So it will pass through the main engine jacket water cooler. Now suppose the fresh water generator is not running. Then the all the then all the parts will then all the cooling water then all the cooling water will go into the main engine jacket water cooler for cooling. Okay. Now if the fresh water is generator is running then some amount of jacket water will be bypassed from uh, bypassed from the main engine jacket fresh water cooler so this is how if the fresh water generator is running then then it will be bypassed from the some amount of water will be bypassed from the jacket cooling water cooler and if the fresh water generator is not running then all the water will go into the cooler or for because it uh, the temperature of jacket water is 82, 82 degrees celsius so we have to cool it so we have to cool it so here is a controller which will send all the water to the main engine jacket water cooler for cooling and 
if the fresh water generator is running if the fresh water generator is running then some amount of water will be bypassed from the cooler because no need for cooling the jacket water because it is already been cooled in the fresh water generator so we have bypassed the jacket water from the jacket water cooler so now from the jacket water cooler the water will go into the deaerating tank so this is the deaerating tank deaerating tank is directly connected with the hd fresh water expansion tank so now and from the deaerating tank the jacket main engine jacket cooling fresh water pump will take the suction okay. now you can see we always maintain a head we always maintain a head from the hd expansion tank so we always maintain a head over here in the deaerator so in the deaerator tank we have four connection we have four connection one the because the jacket cooling water temperature is very high so there is a chance of vapor developing in the jacket water vapor and plus air so this air will be vented into the hd expansion tank so this is the inlet to the deaerator and this is the outlet from the deaerator you can see below this is the there is always uh, we maintain a head in the deaerator tank from below because because the hd if there is leakage in the in the hd system then all the, all the water will be drained out from the line so so no water will be available here so no water will be available to the fresh water pump so the fresh water pump will lo lose suction so in order to prevent this we uh, we always maintain a head to the deaerator tank so that always a head is maintained to the fresh water pump and the pump and the main engine jacket cooling fresh water pump doesn't lose suction so we always maintain a head in the deaerator tank from the hd expansion tank so that the fresh water pump main engine jacket cooling water fresh water pump doesn't lose suction it will always give water into the uh, main engine jacket fresh water cooling system even, even if the there is a leakage in the jacket cooling water line so now after in the after uh, uh, now the pump will take suction from the deaerator tank and it will go into the main engine so inlet of the main engine temperature is approximately 74 degrees celsius outlet from the main engine from jacket water was approximately 82 degrees celsius so you can see from 82 it comes to 74 degrees celsius so uh, the cooling take place in the fresh water generator and also in the hd hd cooler so in this two place the temperature reduces from 82 to 74 degrees celsius So in the expansion tank we have uh, we have inlet in the expansion tank we have fresh water inlet we have a gauge over here now we have also a drain over here so this is all about the uh, hd fresh water line diagram so cooling water enters the at the lower at enters at the lower end of the cylinder jacket at a temperature of around 74 degrees celsius passing up to the connection from top of the jacket to the cylinder cover and then to the exhaust valve cages and seats in some engine restricted amount of water is used for cooling turbocharger cooling spaces so if the main engine is not running due to in port stay or anchor the jacket water is preheated so why we do preheating because of the two main reasons it eliminates the condensation of water vapor in, in the products of combustion because at low temperature dew is formed in liner and after it reacts with shocks of combustion it will form acid causing corrosion wear in liner so to eliminate the condens condensation of water vapor we do preheating of the jacket cooling water at low cooling water temperature the liner valve will be cold and now as the engine is started the cylinder oil is injected into the liner and as the liner is cold the cylinder oil will not be heated and its viscosity will be increased and thus difficulty in starting the engine so we heat the jacket cooling water so that the liner valve will become hot and as the engine is started the cylinder oil injected into the liner uh, will be heated and its viscosity will reduce and and the engine and, and, and there should be no difficulty in starting the engine so we generally so we do the preheating of the jacket cooling water so that the cylinder oil viscosity reduces during the starting of the engine for preheating we have main engine jacket cooling preheater pump and jacket cooler preheater steam is passed in the main engine jacket cooling water preheater to heat the jacket water during its port stay or anchor preheater pump is running i have told you that during a port stay preheater pump is running jacket cooling fresh water pump is stopped so during the port stay the preheater pump is running and the jacket cooling water uh, pump is switched off and jacket cooling water and fresh water generator is also bypassed so the outlet from the jacket cooling water from the main engine goes into the preheater and after preheating it will directly go into the main engine so it will bypass the jacket uh, jacket cooling water cooler and fresh water generator 
When a ship is at sea sailing, the preheater is bypassed. The high jacket water temperature is around 80 degrees Celsius, passes the fresh water generator, where most of its heat is utilized in heating the sea water in the heater of fresh water generator. The temperature inlet to the fresh water generator is controlled by controller to about 82 degrees Celsius. <coughs> After utilizing the heat, the outlet temperature of fresh water generator is almost 78 degrees Celsius. After that, it goes to the jacket water cooler, where some heat is dropped here. The outlet of the cooler is automatically controlled to about 75 degrees Celsius. So this point I have told you in the line diagram. <coughs> So the HT expansion tank, what is the function of HT expansion tank? The temperature of water is very high and there may be a chances of air lock in the system. If the air is not released from the system, then the HT pump will draw air from the system and can lose draw air from the system and failure and the main engine will shut down automatically. Provides a low pressure point for the addition of makeup cooling water. If suppose before the deaerated the water is blocked or leaked completely, so the pump will run dry. So it can act as a makeup of cooling water and a supply of water to the pump and the engine doesn't stop. All allow an increase in water volume as the engine warms up and the air is released from the system. Number four point is, is designed to maintain a constant head in the system so that the pump doesn't lose suction. So all this point I have discussed to you before. Now after cooling in the press water generator and jacket cooling water cooler, the temperature drops to 74 degrees Celsius. The coolant jacket cooling water now enters at the lower end of the cylinder jacket and this process continues. The cooling media in jacket water cooler is from the LT cooling fresh water system. One line from the LT cooler fresh water system is taken for the jacket cooling water cooler for the main engine. So in the jacket cooling uh, jacket water cooler we have a LT LT cooling fresh water system for cooling the high temperature jacket water. So guys this is all about the HT, uh, HT line diagram and explanation of high temperature cooling fresh water system. Hope you understood. Thank you. Okay. If you like the video please like and subscribe and if you haven't subscribed till now subscribe the channel for more to get more videos like this. Thank you. God bless you guys.